Queen here and I've had the money. Have you got a coffee? Cheers. Um, right now, um, I've been I've been getting a lot of um, new subscribers on the YouTube channel. People are finding one video, and then they find another, and another, and another, and I am spending quite a lot of time monitoring the uh, comments coming in. And uh, it's very nice to hear from so many people. I think the thing is now, because things are going to get more expensive, especially for the utilities, people are now starting to think about how they can um, sort out their finances, which is a good thing. So it means more traffic to, to my channel. Um, more work for me, which which I don't mind. Um, I try and help wherever I can. So um, I went shopping yesterday. Uh, it was raining, and I thought I'm bored at home. I want to go out, so I went to a, a local retail park in the afternoon, and uh, I needed to get the cat food in from Home Bargains. And uh, when I was there while I was walking in, I just had a sudden thought come into my head and I thought, do you know, this is quite a nice shop, big shop, got lots of things in the shop. I can actually buy anything I want out of this shop. It is possible. I have the means to pay for it. Um, so it's a nice feeling to be able to say that but um, of course it wasn't always like that you know i mean over the years i've really scrimped and saved and been very very careful about uh, spending and what i've spent it on but now i'm in i'm in a better place and i can relax a little bit more but then that doesn't mean to say I'm going to go completely bonkers and buy everything in the shop because it's ingrained in me, because it's now in my psyche as it is, I still only buy things that I actually need. Um, I also buy things that I want but know that I can afford to pay for. So I'm not going to go crazy and, and just buy just about everything. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's a lesson that I've been following for many, many years now to live within my means, not spend more than I earn. Um, and at the moment, of course, it's my pension. But um, my... my uh, statement came my bank statement came the other day i have a, a monthly bank statement sent in the post and last month i actually saved 500 pounds because i didn't buy anything <laughs> so that's pretty good isn't it do you like this do you like this i went into a charity shop yesterday um in the retail park and I had a quick browse, they were nearly closing. Uh, I browsed through the, the clothing and I found this. So I stand up. Yeah. Ooh, isn't it nice? It cost me one pound. Just one pound. Yes, they have a rail with everything one pound. Didn't bother to look anywhere else, but this caught my eye. It's a lovely blouse. So anyway, what did I buy from Home Bargains? Things that I don't actually need. Well, one or two I do need, but, but a lot of things that maybe I could have managed without. But now I have got the means to pay for things 
that would help me have uh, a comfortable life. Anyway, let's have a look. Wild bird seed. I like to feed the birds in my garden. 99p. See, if I was starving hungry, I wouldn't buy wild bird seed. And I'm not starving hungry. Um, they also like mealworms, dried mealworms, meal, 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 meal worms, um, for the birds in the garden. I like the birds in the garden, and luckily my cats leave them alone. Now the fresh lawn that I um, sowed, the sow some seeds last year, the fresh piece of lawn. The grass, it's struggling a bit. It's not looking very good. So what I've done is I've bought some, two more boxes of uh, patch and repair, right? And lush lawn. So I've got more seeds to put on that patch that is not doing so well. So 79 and 89, because I want to give the lawn a bit of a boost and help it a little bit to grow. Cheers, have you got your coffee? Now I did look for several kinds of seeds. I eat seeds with my breakfast mainly, but they weren't, they had, didn't have many in. They were a bit short on seeds, but I did get the chia seeds. 99p for that. Um, not for the birds, for me. <laughs> Um, my drill bits. I bought some drill bits. I've only got a small hand hand drill thing. Um, but my bits are my bits are broken. <laughs> I've only got about three bits left. Um, I keep breaking them, so I thought, right, I need a new set of drill bits. Two pound ninety nine, three pounds. So now I can start doing a bit of woodwork. Uh, I thought to myself, is it going to be sunny? I'm going to need some sun cream. So £4.49 got me some Nivea. Um, I've had Nivea before. I really do like the smell of it. And you can use it as ordinary moisturiser all the year round. So, um, it's got 30 on it. I don't know what those numbers mean, but there was some 50, some 80, some 20. So I got the middle one at 30. And I like the smell of it. Um, toothpaste, I'm not out of toothpaste just yet, but I do like to have one in the, in the cupboard in the bathroom. The bathroom. Do you like that? Posh, posh. It's the bathroom. Um, 99p so minty toothpaste I'm a bit short on the very small nails these are actually panel pins so these are quite handy to have especially for um, making frames for pictures any small woodworking jobs so 89p and I've got uh, some pins. I've topped up on my vitamins. Vitamin C and zinc. They're 199 for 90. Um, vitamin D, high strength chewable, £1.69. So that's my vitamins topped up for a while. I bought some journaling. This is an antiseptic cream. It's 99p. I like the germaline. It works well on uh, if I've been out in the wind and I've got a sore face and I might have chapped lips. Um, if I've got um, sore skin on my feet, I can put it on there. I sometimes just put some on the tops of my hands there and it just makes everything 
um, smooth and less sore. So germaline is what I use for that. There is little jobs. Harpic toilet cleaner. Now my toilets have a lot of lime scale so I've got to keep on top of it and I discovered this Harpic one it's in a green bottle active fresh mountain pine and it smells absolutely divine it, it does get rid of the lime scale so I like that smell because it, it, I've got two toilets downstairs upstairs and uh, from the bathroom it goes all over the whole house it's very nice and it's not bad for a pound is it and I've noticed as well that I can't get into all the nooks and crannies with my toilet brush they, they don't design them very well do they toilet brushes it's just like a lump of bristles on the end of a pole um, and you can't sort of go around the bends and you can't get under the rim so what I thought was I'm going to get this bottle brush because it's sort of a, a bit bendy and I can shove it down shove it up <laughs> it's a bottle brush actually costs 79 pence now I'm going to use that as a toilet brush it's quite stiff give it a swirl so I'm hoping that that's going to work better than a conventional toilet brush which I found a, a pretty useless to be honest um, but anyway what's this last item coffee mate I use this in my coffee uh, I quite like it well I would do wouldn't I if I keep buying it I quite like it so there's a few items there that I've bought from Home Bargains yesterday I spent £129 um, and um, bought a lot of cat food so I brought some things that I actually need and want so cheers have you got a coffee it's very cold and windy outside I keep thinking I ought to go out really I've just had um, a conversation with my sister it lasted well over an hour but we haven't spoken for about three weeks so um, you know we don't ring each other all the time because both of us are quite busy and um, it's looking black out there I'm thinking do I risk a walk I don't think I'll be going over the fields because it's been raining a lot and um, yes anyway it's 20 minutes to three on a Saturday afternoon I probably will risk it for an hour or two so this is me Queen um, how are you getting on you know I, I don't know how much more money I've got to pay on my gas and electric because I'm waiting to get the letter and they will then let me know how much the increase is going to be um, but at the moment I'm not fretting over it because I mean I've got like years of experience of spinning my money out um, it doesn't really matter how much comes in because whatever it is I know that that is my spending limit I will not spend any more than that um, I've st I'm in a good position so I don't need to worry just yet maybe maybe ask me in a year's time and I might be back to square one <laughs> as I was when I was 60 and just starting retirement when I just had 200 pounds and, and a mortgage you know but now I don't have a mortgage um, but you know ask me ask me again in a year's time how have I managed with all these excessive increases that we're all supposed to be having anyway nice to catch you again hope you pop in again um, don't forget to not click that subscribe button if you don't want to 
And uh, do you want to see where Maisie is? Maisie's on the other side of the room. She's in a box, which I'm, I've got fabric in. I'm sorting some fabric out to make my art project. She's lying in the box. She's snoring. This is me, Queen. Life after money. Catch you later. Bye.